every life form starts with a birth. In this case, cobalt-60 is being born. This is a radioactive isotope. It's being created at a nuclear research reactor. Radioactive isotopes occur naturally or can be produced like this artificially. The creation of cobalt-60 begins with cobalt-59, the natural staple isotope of this chemical element. Before irradiation, it needs to be carefully prepared and packaged. When ready, it can begin the next stage of its journey into a reactor core. Here, the radioactive isotope is produced by bombarding the cobalt-59 pellets with neutrons. Unlike stable isotopes, radioactive isotopes decay over time and release ionizing radiation. These rays can be used for many beneficial purposes in medicine, industry and agriculture. Before a radioactive isotope can be used as a sealed source, it needs to go through a process called encapsulation. Cobalt-60 pellets are transferred into individual capsules and welded. Then it's time for the source to begin the next phase of its life. It needs to get to work. It can be put into various devices. These provide the shielding that protects the operators, but allows the radiation beam to enter the targeted area or object. In industry, equipment containing a sealed source can be used for industrial radiography. This method can check the quality of wells in sections of pipelines or pressure vessels. In agriculture, a source can be used in irradiators for a variety of purposes. For example, plant breeding, where gamma rays are used to induce positive changes in seeds. Or to sterilize male insects to suppress populations of pests that can destroy fruit fields or make livestock sick. In medicine, Sources are used in machines which treat cancer. The radiation the sources emit is used to kill cancerous tumors. High activity sources are used in commercial irradiation facilities to sterilize medical supplies and preserve food. The radiation destroys parasites and pests. It kills the microorganisms that can lead to wastage and food poisoning. After years of activity, there comes a time when a radioactive source can no longer be used. This could be because its remaining radioactivity is no longer strong enough for its original purpose. Or if the devices containing sources are damaged or obsolete. Eventually, sources need to be treated as radioactive waste. When managed properly, the next phase in the life of a source is conditioning. This prepares radioactive waste for safe and secure storage and eventual disposal. Conditioning usually involves the careful removal of the source from each individual device. Once the source is out, it's necessary to identify the type of radioactive isotope it contains, the dose rate, and radioactivity level. Such information is essential for an inventory. Conditioning greatly reduces the volume of radioactive waste since multiple sources can be stored in one capsule. And a long-term storage container can hold several of these. After conditioning, the old devices can be handled like conventional waste. Following conditioning, disused sources can be placed in long-term storage facilities where they will remain until a disposal facility is established. 
Some countries already have disposal sites, where saucers such as low-activity Cobalt-60 can be safely put to rest. When a disposal pit is full, it will be filled with concrete and permanently sealed, bringing to an end the lifespan of a radioactive source. Practically all countries in the world use radioactive sources, but many need to improve their management strategies. If sources aren't controlled properly, they pose a threat to human health and the environment. The International Atomic Energy Agency, the IAEA, is helping countries to develop effective, safe and secure control systems for their radioactive sources. It does this by providing training to radioactive waste management experts from around the world. Such meetings offer the participants the opportunity to gain theoretical knowledge and practical experience. IAEA experts give direct assistance by conducting conditioning missions to help countries prepare disused radioactive sources for storage and disposal. Together with external partners, the IAEA has developed new technologies such as the mobile hot cell. This is a shielded radiation chamber that can be deployed worldwide and used to condition high-activity sources. The IAEA has also conceived a new system, known as the borehole disposal concept. This involves the drilling of a borehole into the ground. The depth will depend on the amount of sources and on geological conditions. A specially constructed casing will be placed inside the hole and surrounded by grout. Containers filled with disused and conditioned sources will be loaded into the borehole. Once the hole is full, it will be filled with concrete and sealed. With IAEA support, several countries are already developing this system. Radioactive sources have become an indispensable part of daily life. When properly managed, the benefits they provide are far greater than the problems that could arise. With IAEA support, countries can develop systems to keep sources safely and securely under control. From the cradle to the grave.